What is poppin' Genshin gang? It's your boy Mikey J in the Eleven place to be. And today we've got some Genshin news. We're gonna be going over the developer's discussion for patch 1.3 coming soon. Before we hop into it, if you are part of the 78% of people who don't subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I dare you. I dare you. We are officially on the road to 20,000 subscribers. But you know what? 21,000 subscribers because I'm cheesy like that. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and hop into the news. All right, so developer discussion 119, that is today. Um, there's a bunch of things going on here that I really, really do like, and um, I, I don't think there's anything that I don't. Um, let's go ahead and, and, and see what we got here. Uh, when will pre-installation come to mobile platforms? Mobile, mobile players want to come soon. Version 1.3 will be the one that they drop the um, pre-install for. So that's that's really good, that's really good. I'm excited for that because I play respectively on both mobile and PC, mainly PC. But like when I do like my little mundane task, it'll be on mobile. So that's cool. I wish that we could hold down a button to add materials when enhancing our weapons. You will be able to hold down a button over the image. Dope, 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 dope. Because it's nothing worse than hitting select all and then not needing some stuff to, you know, get that perfect balance. So that's. That's a very, very good quality of life addition. I love to see it. This is the big one for me. We like to use controllers on iOS devices. I don't know about you, but I use an iPhone. And obviously there's no word on, on Androids, unfortunately, but iPhone has controller support, finally in 1.3. I can't stress how big that is for me because usually when I'm not recording or, or streaming um, my dailies, I have to get up, I have to come down here and I really can't do touch controls. I can't do touch controls, not for combat anyway. If I just wanna get my dailies out of the way, all I gotta do is sync up my controller and boom, I'm still in the bed doing my dailies, doing my, doing my runs. So I cannot wait for this much, much needed addition to mobile. Kudos to you. I wish that we could have the ability con to convert materials. Yep. Uh, the upcoming material conversion function that will go live in 1.3 is already in development. Stay tuned for future official announcements regarding required materials and rules behind this function. I'm excited for this as well. I think I seen like a little teaser of what's going on here. I think you'll be able to like convert your your gems that you get from the various, you know, element elemental bosses into a different one. Um, obviously, we don't know what that entails, but I'm super excited for it because Sometimes you'll just have way too many of one thing and not enough of the other, and then you'll be able to just convert it into the other. So that's gonna be awesome. Will electro charge reaction trigger by rain sword and Oz still trigger official's talent undone? Be that I don't I don't think we really need to go over that. If you want to read that, that's fine. That's nothing that um I'm too interested in. Uh why can't Fatui Harbor? Uh eh, that's nothing there. Ganyu's talent, harmony between heaven and earth, not affect the elemental burst that activates it. Uh, by the time harmony between heaven and earth is activated, Ganyu's elemental burst would already have been unleashed. As such, it would not be affected by this buff. I feel like that's an easy fix if they wanted to do it, but it's it's nothing that that's really game breaking or anything like that. Anyway, we would like to have more original resin. We always want to have more original resin. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love the direction they're going with the events because this touches on this. All events in 1.3 that do not require challenging ley line outcrops or domains will not consume original resin, which is absolutely the way that they should go. Um, that first event with the Mona event using resin, it, oh man, it, it just wasn't the play. It just was not the play. I'm, I'm glad that I was, I was super worried that they were going to use the uh, resin with the hypostasis event but they didn't. And I'm I'm super, super glad that going forward, they're not going to be using resin for any events. Awesome, awesome. And the battle pass. Okay, so our battle passes will be adjusted from 1.3 onward and have an additional fragile resin, have additional fragile resin rewards. Sojourner's battle pass and Gnostic Hem will obtain fragile resin one uh, times per 10 levels, starting from level five. So it's 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, and, and that's it. There's no 55, unfortunately. <laughs> this is great. This is great for free to play players and, you know, dolphins and whales alike. You get, obviously, you're probably going to get two when, and when, when you pay for the, for the battle patch, which is so worth. 
Like if you if you don't if you're not spending money on anything, get the battle pass. If if you're an everyday player but you're free to play and you consistently hit that 50 mark, just get the battle pass. It is so worth it. It is it is extremely worth it. My thing is I usually just get to level uh 20 by myself before I buy it and then I just get the battle pass and get the weapon because it gives you I get the mo the more expensive one but it also it boosts you 10 levels and it um like you say if you unlock it at level 20 it jumps you right to 30 and you get all those rewards plus the the uh the weapon so I'm currently building the black sword so I'll I'll just be using the black sword until I get to rank five. And then after that, I don't know where I'm going from there. But that's beyond that's beyond the point. And I think that is it. Yeah, yeah. So tell me what you guys think about the resin. Tell me what you guys think about you know everything going forward. Um, like I said before, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Peace.